see here, the xylophone is a small version of the marimba. Um, this is probably something that you've seen before. It is exactly three and a half octaves. The marimba traditionally is a lot larger, more like four to five octaves. And the xylophone is kind of the top register plus an extra octave of the marimba. So keep that in mind when you're writing. As you can hear, it's very high. Okay, and it's very sharp. So when you're thinking of ways that you might want to use the xylophone, it would usually be to bring out some sort of um, accent possibly or a staccato texture. Legato is not really something that the xylophone is, is um, great at. So this is the glockenspiel. As you can see, it's quite small. It's only two and a half octaves and it's made of metal. So it has very long, tone and the sound is quite sweet and high. So as you can hear it's quite tinkly. Again, it's good for effects probably rather than as a main instrument uh, because the sound does last for a long time so it's quite difficult to control. These would be typical mallets used on the glockenspiel. They're quite hard. As you can hear, the sound lasts for a really very long time. Another option is that we can use metal beaters, which are harder again. A nice effect on the glockenspiel is a glissando. But we can also just do single notes. Which might sound like your school bell. <laughs>